Hey folks, it's CES 2013, Sean McGinnis and Peter Brown here in Las Vegas to cover the show, and Peter has just had a chance to see one of the uh, early big announcements of the show thus far, it's NVIDIA's Project Shield. Peter, I've got some specific questions for you, but first give us a quick rundown of what exactly this Shield thing is. So at NVIDIA's press conference last night, they announced a new handheld gaming device. It's Android based, um, and it's built to play Android games using uh, NVIDIA's new Tegra 4 processor. Okay. It's a GPU CPU combo that's got 72 cores. That's a lot of cores. That's a lot of cores. And with that comes a new streaming technology. And so one of the other things they're doing is streaming games from your existing PC with an NVIDIA G, uh, G4 6 series card okay. um, that'll let you play PC games on this handheld. All right, so it is a handheld device, so form factor is obviously a big consideration. And from the pictures that I've seen of it, it looks a little clunky. It seems like the buttons, there's a lot of space between them and the edges of the device. So does it actually play well in your hand? At first glance, it is a little strange. But once you pick it up, it feels pretty good. The, so the center of the controller is a bit recessed. And at first, that does you kind of have to crane your hands forward a little bit. But it's really actually very good. The one difference, the one notable problem is the D-pad. But they're still working on that. This okay. is still a pre-production model. Um, it's a little stiff, but everything else felt really good. The sticks were great. They were sort of on orbs with little thumb pads that you would, you would rotate around. So it's not a stick necessarily, but it's the same function. Okay. And so this is an Android device. Is it the latest, uh, latest and greatest version of Android there? Yeah, it's running uh, Jelly Bean 4.2, and NVIDIA has done a little bit of um, tweaking to sort of take advantage of the Tegra's capabilities. So the browser is optimized and certain things like that. So it's a little bit better than your standard smartphone, yeah. Okay. And uh, so it's not just an Android device, though. It also does a bit of streaming. How does that work on this uh, on this thing? So as long as you have a GeForce 600 series GPU in your computer uh -huh. with the Kepler chip, um, you basically can stream PC games um, on a game-by-game -game basis. And you can even link up your Steam account to this as well. Oh, okay. So there are two modes. There's the uh, you know the Android app screen where you sort of flip through your stuff. Hit the game button one more time, and it brings up the PC apps. Um, there's each individual app, and then there's a little icon for the Steam button. So you click that, and it sort of opens the big picture mode. Okay. Um, yeah. So I've got a, a G4 680 in my machine at home. Am I going to be able to get one of these things and like go from playing Far Cry 3 on my PC to pick it up and play a little Far Cry 3 in the bathroom? Is yes. That the, is that the implication here? I would say yes. I'm not actually sure in that order how it would work. The way we did it was we started the game on a handheld, as I was playing it, I noticed he glanced over his shoulder, the gentleman demoing it, and he was watching me play on the screen. So I imagine that there, you can actually jump out of the game on the Android, and then if you wanted to, jump on the, the computer and keep playing. But we didn't demo that specifically, but it seems within the realm of possibility. Okay. So with the Steam integration, does that mean Valve is involved in any way? They've been working with Valve a little bit. Um, some of this went back to their assistants making Linux drivers for a lot of Valve's games. Um, this isn't a Steam native device, but yeah. it supports Steam, and that's with some cooperation with Valve. But to what extent, we're not really sure yet. Okay, so overall, what did you think of the device? Does it seem like too little too late in terms of, you know, handheld devices and tablets and things like that? Or do you think that this is actually going to carve out a niche? I think it's going to carve out a bit of a niche. It's the first device of its kind. The Android part of it is pretty typical. It's just like you've got a, a smartphone with a controller attached to it. Yeah. But the really exciting part is the streaming games from the PC. The latency was really low. The video compression was almost unnoticeable. Okay. Um, and for all intents and purposes, it looked great and it played great. And I was, I was impressed. Um, I think once they really get this thing, get the controls figured out, just that last little bit, you know, it's going to be really good. And are they talking price yet? Release date, anything? Well, quarter two is the release date. That's okay. the projected release date. No mention on price, but he said it's going to be priced as a mobile device. So you could imagine a typical portable game machine or a cell phone anywhere from 200, maybe the top end of 500. Uh, hopefully not beyond that, because I think that would then breach the sort of threshold where people might actually purchase this thing. Cool. Sounds good. Uh, so that's your update on NVIDIA's Project Shield here at CES 2013. Stay tuned for more sh show coverage coming your way.